is Thomas Lover 10,852, and it's really late at night where I am, so I'm just going to get on with the main review today. So, this is a character I've been waiting for, waiting to do for a long time now. So, I'm finally getting around to picking him as my character. So, the moment, a character you've all been waiting for. If you've seen my account picture, you definitely know who it is. It's the 2013 Flying Scotsman. Here, since this since this item is split up into three parts, let's start with the main engine. It'll be too long. This video will take too long if I did it all at once. Let me see if I Okay. Now, what really makes me sad is the plastic bogies down here. The, the bogies are all plastic, not wood. But if you know the um 1992 flying, the 19 I think 1997 flying Scotsman, he's definitely much heavier. It takes off a lot of weight with the plastic bogies. Now these we the big wheels in the middle are a little smaller than the one in the um other version of the Flying Scotsman. Now this version of the Flying Scotsman they didn't change the face at all except they made it a little bigger, which I kinda like. But they didn't change the real face at all. They just enlarged it. Enlarged it. But they kept the original wink face. It's the only engine to have a wink. So, I'm glad they kept that. So, compared to the other design, this is way more detailed. But this pretty, this is pretty much all wood, except for the bogies down here. So, it's this flying Scotsman right here. Let's see. There we go. Now. The really big difference is on the other one, it was this one was just a, a red and yellow dot. So, uh, this is a very big change. Yeah, let me see if I can get it. Come on. Focus. There we go. Sort of. I'll just read it anyways. It says Mainland Railway with the line of, over the wheel. So it works on the main one. So it's symmetrical. Oh, ignore that. I accidentally dropped it once. Just ignore that. Now he has a funny shaped um dome. So I say now he's a limited edition item, so definitely go out and get him if you can. But anyways, let's get on to the next piece. The first tender. Yes, the Flying Scotsman has two. Now, interesting fun fact. There, along with the Flying Scotsman, the only two engines that were based off actual engines, like in real life, are um, Stepney and Wilbur. And, of course, the Flying Scotsman. So, it says L N N. Sorry, L-N-E-R, which stands for London, North, Eastern, Eastern Railway. I might be right. I think that's right. Just leave in the comments if I got that wrong. So, on the bottom it says Flying Scotsman Standard. So, pretty basic design. So, last piece. It's his water tanker. Now, where he works is on Scotland, pretty obvious. It'll, they don't have as much coal and water, so it, he has to have a second tender. So his number, and this is the same number as in real life, is 4472. Now this is all smooth except for this little bump here. And let's read the bottom. It says, Flying Scotsman's Water Tanker. Well, 
that's it for this video. Please subscribe. And one other thing. If you haven't already noticed, Stephen from the new movie King of the Railway was hidden somewhere in this video. Leave in the comments if you found him. Well, till next week, please subscribe.